Good morning, Reefers. I'm here with Tom's 220. Uh, this tank is absolutely huge, and he has one of my favorite aquascapes by Lee Bauer. These aqua rocks um, are beyond impressive. The fish seem to be loving them. They give you tons of room for the corals to be placed and for water flow around them. Uh, this tank is absolutely gorgeous. So he's actually uh, recovering from a recent crash just from negligence to a system. It does happen, we all have been there. Um, fish tanks do require a lot of upkeep and maintenance. So you can't be afraid to, um, or you should be afraid I should say, to walk away from the tank for too long. <laughs> but one of the things I'm actually impressed with are these Kessel's AP700s. I was afraid to spend the money and actually test them out on my system, but just these two fixtures by themselves are lighting this whole tank and giving amazing color. So I know um, my suppliers kept trying to get me to test these lights out and I was just like, no, no. <laughs> but now I wish I would have because this tank looks absolutely well lit. So let me show you guys the sump real quick. This skimmer is pretty massive. I actually downsized some of my skimmers because I felt like I was over skimming my tanks. Uh, I'm actually running them only on a 12 hour cycle now. But uh, this tank is gonna be crystal clean with this thing running. Marine Pure Block uh, is in effect. There's dosing. And this beautiful, now the light is usually kept off here. So as I recommend with people who have live rock and a sump instead of a refugium, definitely keep the light off and you'll get a lot more sponges that will grow in there that are just more beneficial for your system. So he has his dosing lines ran through the back, which is pretty cool, and running right into this overflow. So as the water's coming from this tank, the dosing is diluted and mixed into there, so he's not burning any of his corals with um, the doser. As happened with me, every time I get lazy and I dump something in the top of my tank, I see a coral burned by it because the water just doesn't mix as well as you would think up in the top. So, now he has one more gem over here, which is a fish only tank. It's 180 gallon, which is in the process of being established. So, anything you want to add, Tom, that I didn't say, feel free. But these lights here are one of my favorites too, the AIs. And just look, these two lights, how well they do for this uh, fish only system. It's really well lit and the sand is pretty fine here too, which is cool. Fish are gonna love this. So I can't wait to see when I come back how well it looks. File fish. Is that a half-taste eating file fish? 